Well, friends, it appears that Fool's Spring has come to an end, and we have a late February snowstorm upon us. Hello, friends. Are you prepared for the next power outage? Whatever winter's weather might bring your way. Well, today I'm here to show you some really simple ways to make sure your family can get through a short-term power outage, which as we know are all too common with winter weather, with hurricane season. Okay, well, let's take a look at what my family keeps on hand to make sure we can get through the first 48 to 72 hours of an emergency weather system that might take our power out for a short period of time. Now we have separate preps that will help for a longer term power outage. This is just for that first few days. It's pretty simple for any family to compile these. And many of these items you probably already have in your house or in your camping gear. So let's take a look. Sorry. Speaking of power, we have our Rock Pals battery pack. Now this also has a solar panel, which I forgot to bring out to show you today. So it can be charged with that or it can be plugged in. We do keep it charged at all times so that we are ready because as I said, our youngest is tube fed and she relies on a feeding pump which needs power to run. So we must have enough battery pack to get her through with that and an ability to recharge it. So this is just a basic solar battery. It's 250 watt. It only is gonna do things like small lights, your cell phones, iPads, her feeding pump, those kind of devices. And then we have our smaller battery packs. You're probably familiar with these because we take them on the go everywhere. We have several of these. Keep them charged up and ready to go so that you can have a full phone charge or two in there in emergency situations. We also have our emergency radio. Now this has a solar charger and I keep this charged just by keeping it in a window. I don't ever plug it in, but it does have a USB cord so I can charge it that way as well, which means I could use one of my battery packs as needed. And if all else fails, it has the hand crank back here to be able to wind it and get it to work. I recommend knowing your local emergency radio station um, information, your weather information, and maybe even keeping it on here. But this has a flashlight and it's your emergency radio. I also have a couple of these in our house. They're just a solar light. They have a little stand. I again keep these charged just by putting them, and they have the flash in there um, for emergency notification if needed. Um, I keep them charged by just keeping them in the window again for the solar battery, but they do have a USB power option as well. On the, I also have some headlamps, which I failed to bring into my video today. And I have a couple that can be charged by USB. You can charge them in your car if needed. So then you know that you also have that option for any of these USB power. Just make sure that you have a way to plug them into your car. Of course, some lighters and some matches because you just never know, right? It's best to have both. So we have several boxes of just little wooden matches flashlights. Be sure you keep several flashlights on hand. Now we keep these in a couple places. I have my box where I keep our emergency lighting, but I also keep one on our nightstands, easy accessible. Now in the days of cell phones, if you keep your cell phone in your room, you of course have a light that way too, assuming it has been charged. And then various candles. These are just a couple examples. We have jar candles, emergency candles small votives. I have a lot of other candles that we can use if needed. Then we have our battery daddy to hold all of our backup batteries because it's important to always have plenty of batteries on hand for all of your standard sizes so that you don't find yourself in a power outage and you don't have batteries for those flashlights or other devices that you need to operate. And then one more thing that we keep on hand I guess two more things, sorry, that we keep on hand. Um, as I mentioned in a previous video, we do have a gas range, which means that I can cook even in 
times when we don't have power. I just cannot use our oven, but the cooktop will work fine. However, not everybody has that option. And also we have that compiled seven day grab and go emergency kit where if we had to leave our home and we don't know what the cooking situation would be in those times. So I keep a butane stove burner. It's just a single burner and it just uses little butane cans, which is safe to use inside. Of course, make sure you're properly ventilated, but unlike propane cook stoves, you know, camp stoves, this one is actually safe to use inside. And then the last thing we keep on hand is our little portable heater. This is a portable buddy by Mr. Heater. It runs on propane. We also have a cord adapter um, and regulator so it could run to a 20 pound propane tank instead of just these little guys if needed. Now, this isn't gonna heat our whole house, but it would let us create a micro environment in the winter if we were without our heat source. I think that's really important to have. In the meantime, my husband uses it for things like heating the garage when he's working out there and it's cold. Okay, so here is a few of the things that we keep on hand. One is our portable blender. Now for us, this is a big deal because we have a tube fed child. So being able to blend to be able to get her nutrition in is super important. So this is just a little blend jet it has its USB cord here, and I can power this up with one of our short-term power um, products as needed. Okay, so that's a necessity for us. It might not be for you, but they're kind of cool to have on hand anyway. Okay, so that's a pretty simple list of home preps to have for a power outage today. I'd like to hear down in the comments what you keep in your family's emergency kit in the case of short-term power outages. Let me know what I can add to our stockpile for short term. And again, we'll talk about the longer term emergencies in another video. Thanks for joining me today. Blessings upon your day and stay prepared, friends.